welcome to Pinch of Kerala. Pinchers, right? Yeah, yes. Pinchers. <laughs> Say hi to the Pinchers. Okay, all right, welcome and uh, uh, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to make uh, this uh, fish morning. It's basically fish, one of the fish curry, you know, the uh, coconut and some spices. It's, you know, you put your mind into it, you will make it. When you cook, you need a passion, you know. And, you know, you will make it. And the practice make it perfect. Keep practicing and you will get better. So this is what I'm going to do. This is a kingfish. So I'm going to show you how to cut it, how, uh, how to marinate it, how to fry it. So Mommy, yes. is, is kingfish the only kind of fish you can use with no, this? No, no, you can use um, salmon. That's one of the best choice, you know, the salmon you can buy fresh now. Yep. And tilapia, you can use it uh, boneless, but it's very soft. <laughs> If you happen to use uh, tilapia, maybe you can add a little bit of cornstarch, you know, make it thicker when you fry it. Farm fried, that's another choice, you know, you can do it. So I'm going to cut on this side. And uh, actually, this is frozen, okay? Uh, okay? So I'm going to cut both sides. See here? Got it. Mm -hmm. okay. Sometimes when you peel it, uh -huh. the whole meat will come, you know, sometimes. You know. But I'll, this is the best way to Can do you it. show peeling on the other side, Mommy? Yeah. Okay. So, so peeling. Yeah. She's getting under the skin, guys. Yeah, under the skin. And then she's skin pulling it back. It. Peel it down. See? It? And this was a frozen fish. She's a frozen, yeah. See, when the fish is frozen, it's easy to take it when you take it out from the fro you know, freezer. Okay. Because once it's got loosened up, you know, uh, it's you harder know, to pull. It's harder to peel it. So I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to cut it into pieces now. Okay. Okay. Right. So I'm going to cut on both sides. See? And you cut to the bone. That's a bone in the, the center? Bone. Yeah, bone in the center. You don't want the bone though. Nope, okay. we don't. So I'm going to cut it this way, see? So mommy, you cut it just off center. Why did you do that? Cut it on the center because, see, this has kind of layers. Um. Okay, see here, this is one layer. And this is going to be another layer. What we cut it. This is yep. one piece of steak. Yep. How you wash the fish? Let's, Let's go. go. Okay. So you had to put a little bit of lemon juice and salt. Okay. So warm water, everybody. Warm water in the frozen one. Okay. If it's frozen, one and a half teaspoon lemon juice. Uh huh. Okay. So I'm gonna one, you know, just eyeball it. Okay. So I'm gonna keep a little bit to wash my hand. Got it. Because lemon juice is always take the smell away. One tablespoon salt, you know, already measured. Yeah. And you know, salt you can put a little bit more. Doesn't matter. You know, it won't hurt. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the water. Okay. So this is lemon juice yeah. uh, and the salt. Uh huh. Okay. So three times. This is the fourth one. Fourth wash. Yeah. When you cook, you gotta know the numbers. Right. You can wash it three four times. Let's get in this. Because we soak it in uh, salt water and lemon juice. Okay. And this, uh, you know, fish are always good to use coconut oil. Mm -hmm. So I have coconut oil, a little bit of fenugreek. You know, you don't want a whole lot. And a little bit um, of mustard, mustard seeds. Mustard seeds. But tempering. You know what this is? Turmeric. Okay. Uh, chili powder. This is, I use cashmere. And this is the black pepper powder. Okay. Uh -huh. And this is a garam masala. But that we are going to use it later. Of course, curry leaves. Optional and always helps any Kerala cooking. You always use the curry leaves. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to make a paste, uh -huh. the ginger paste. So this is two tablespoons of ginger. I cut it in pieces. Okay. Okay. This is ten clove curry. Okay. You can see. Yes. yes. Okay. Onion, one onion. I sliced it and two green chilies. And like I said last time, that if you don't want too much heat, you can take the middle part off. You know, that's a, the seed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You can do that. One tomato, I minced it. Minced it. Oh. So for those just tuning in, you've made it where we are now creating the marinade okay. for the fish. Okay. So this is um, this is a half teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon of uh, black pepper. Okay. And I'm going to take one teaspoon of um, turmeric. Keeping. Okay. One teaspoon of Cashmere chili. Cashmere chili. Salt. Salt. So I'm going to put a half teaspoon. This is one teaspoon, one quart spoon. Add one tablespoon of um, 
So, mommy, this lemon juice. Yeah. I use the fresh lemon. And of course, you don't have to use this fresh lemon. You can buy the bottle. This is easier. Real lemon. Real lemon. Now I'm going to okay. marinate the fish. Okay. okay. Oh, the half teaspoon, half teaspoon. Just eyeball it. At a time. It. Yeah, at a time. You don't want too much in it. That's like a one fourth teaspoon. It okay. should be a paste, guys. Yeah. So you're taking one of the fish. See oh, you're doing it by hand, mommy. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So you just uh, you know, put it on both sides. She's painting and the it. other side. And, uh, so we're using coconut oil? Yeah, coconut. Because, you know, for fish, it's always coconut oil. Tastes good. Yep. Yeah. And again, it's, it's just an option. What's another option they can use, mommy? You can use corn oil, you can use olive oil, you can use right. uh, sunflower oil, anything. But I'm just, you know, we had some coconut oil, see mm -hmm. here? Yeah. Just put it on this flat. See here? See how she's not dropping see? it, guys? Mm -hmm. Not yeah. dropping. So now I'm going to flip it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see the brown? Yeah. See the light coat? Light coat. See? This is good to go, okay? So okay. what happens is if it is uh, cooked too hard, then you have so we're taking it out, okay? Okay. Right. Because we don't want to take too much down. So I did exactly how it is, but I defrosted a little bit longer. Okay. Okay? Then I marinated almost, you know, the same amount, but yes. this is more fish. Right. So we have some leftover um, marinated. Yes. Okay? So this is what we are going to cook, you know, because that is only small amount. Okay, that's this right. This is uh, two pounds of uh, kingfish. Okay. So, so this, this is two tablespoons of ginger. Yeah. So I'm going to cook that all ready. And uh, this is ten cloves. Ten cloves. Ten cloves. Yeah. So I'm going to grind it. So this is to make a paste, y'all. Make a paste. We're learning together. Uh, this is a new machine. So Bought off of Amazon. It has the U.S. plug. For those asking, it is from India, though. This is a coconut oil. Okay? I'm going to add a two tablespoons. I mean, um, three tablespoons because we may need that. It's a lot of fish. Yeah, yeah, because this was three tablespoons of coconut oil. So since we are uh, tempering later, so I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of uh, fenugreek. Wait, quarter. mommy, you're doing a quarter because you're going to temper. Okay. So if you're not tempering, guys, add the mustard seed. Mustard seed, yeah. The onions and the chili. So the onions and the chili went in. So the next one I'm going to add is the uh, I'm going to add turmeric. The turmeric. How much is that again? Yeah, add, I'm going to add only half because we added already that. Add a half teaspoon and one teaspoon of. Um, um, black pepper. Black pepper. Okay. So that was turmeric and black pepper, everybody. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is a half teaspoon of garam masala. Okay. Half teaspoon. Heaping. Heaping. Half. 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 half of it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I'm going to add the curry leaves and the tomato. Okay. Slowly with me. Slowly. Okay. Thank you. And turn the heat down a little bit. Down a little bit. Half cup of water. Half cup of okay. water. So I'm going to add a half, um, half a cup of uh, coconut milk to this. Right. Okay, to make it one cup. Okay, so, so that's okay. that's a diluted coconut milk. Yeah, Let's make it one cup. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add it to this one. So now the time to add the fish. Add in slowly. So, Don't let see? it splash. You add the whole fish. <laughs> And mommy, now are you coating it? Coating it, yep. And uh, lowering, lowering the temperature. The She's using pot holders pot holder to just, just mix, it. Okay. mix it like that. Do you see? So I'm going to cover it. 
Okay, Completely. let it cook for five to seven minutes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the coconut milk. So we used half, and now we're using the rest. See the coconut milk is going right now. Do you see the color though, y'all? Yellow. Mellow yellow. Right. So we're going to do the little timbering here. Okay. okay. Yep. So guys, remember, we didn't put the mustard in earlier so because we were going to temper. very little. Maybe one teaspoon. Okay. See? Pop. There's our pop. Okay. Onion. 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 Dry. Yep. Again, one optional. And optional. Tempering is optional, please, you know, so I don't get uh, everybody, oh my god, I had to do that again. Don't be I worried. Have to, no. Nice. That's what you want, everybody, for tempering. You know, drop. Boom. You just right in the center. Really drop that on me. Subscribe or share, let someone else know so let them learn. All that. Okay. Thank you. See you next time. Love you all.